Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta. YouTube.com is where you find our page. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Free and available to download on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify, Odyssey. Check us out now. Amazon Fire and Roku. We're available on those platforms as well. Follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. So one of the things that I really enjoyed about Sunday is seeing a couple of my favorite guys for the Atlanta Falcons getting a lot of playing time. Now, we only started this podcast in April, okay? If you followed me on my Twitter page at JMSH316, you know last season how frustrated I was by watching some of the Falcons secondary, more specifically the Fabian Moreau, Deron Harmon, Darren Hall, um, Eric Harris, you know, all of these vagabonds that they had. Love seeing A.J. Terrell out there, but the rest of that group, the Fabian Moreau's, the Eric Harris's, the Deron Harm, none of those guys belonged on an NFL field starting. And, yeah, I understand we're in rebuild mode and you had to get some guys in and stuff like that, but those guys were awful. Like, none of those guys were any good. Fabian Moreau was a special teams player for the last two years before he came here and played 92 or 94% of the snaps last year. So one of the things that I loved about Sunday is two of my favorite guys in that secondary, Richie Grant, who I love, and Jalen Hawkins, too. Both of those guys got significant run. And if you remember, Richie Grant last year only played, I think it was between 20 and 25% of the snaps. And they said, well, he wasn't ready or this, that, yeah. Okay, well, he's a second-round pick. You know, you got to get him going, right? I mean, you're not going to get your franchise on track if you swing and miss on second-round picks in this league. That, what's a big reason why the Falcons are where they are is because they've laid so many turds in the first and second round that you can't get your roster right. But on Sunday, Richie Grant, who didn't get a whole lot last year, Jalen Hawkins, who worked himself into a lot more playing time last year, those guys played all but one snap in the game on Sunday. 98% is what it, it comes out to be but they played 60 of the 61 defensive snaps on Sunday. And that gives me a lot of confidence in the idea that Dean Pease, who's not going to play guys just for the sake of playing guys, Dean Pease is not going to trot you out there if he feels like you can't handle it. And that was part of what Richie Grant, you know, he talked about. He's got to figure some things out. He's got to learn. He's got to get in the right position, blah, 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 blah. Hawkins the same way. Now you're seeing those guys starting to come to fruition. And when we talk about guys who had sneaky good games on Sunday, Richie Grant had a sneaky good game on Sunday. Jalen Hawkins, I thought, had a really sneaky good game on Sunday. I know we talk about the pass rush and some of the other things that went on, but Jalen Hawkins, I thought, really played well on Sunday. And he's a ball hawk safety. This is what he did in college. Grant can play the run. Grant can cover. Grant can do a lot of things. I'm one of those people that I love a great secondary, okay? I love, and especially in today's NFL, tell me I've got corners and safeties who can cover, who can hit, who can tackle, who can do multiples of things. Tell me that my corners and safeties can do a lot of different things. And that's what I love about this. And look, having to sit through last year of watching Fabian Moreau and Eric Harris, by the way, Eric Harris, Eric Harris played, uh, what's the number here? Eric Harris played one snap on defense. One snap. Darren Hall, by the way, played two snaps on defense. Okay? Can I tell you, I'm good if I don't see Eric Harris, Darren Hall, Fabian Moreau, Durant. I don't want anybody back from that group. I don't want to see any of those guys on the field. Sink or swim with your young guys. Okay, sorry, but I mean, this is the year to find out about Hawkins, Grant, either they can handle it or you got to go back in the draft and go get more guys. Like, I can't keep playing this game of Fabian Moreau and Deron Harmon and Eric Harris and all these vagabonds that have no business starting in the NFL. That if they weren't here, they wouldn't be starting in the NFL or they're playing for a team that's so bad that they have no choice but to start. And that's sort of what happened here last year. You know, Fabian Moreau was a two-year special teams player for the Redskins and then came over here and played 94% of the snaps. 
So I was really happy to see Richie Grant and Jalen Hawkins stay on the field. That's what I want out of those two guys. I need those two guys to be sort of anchors on the back end because I know AJ Terrell and Casey Hayward. I know they had their struggles last week, but I know they can handle what their assignments are back there. And at some point you get Isaiah Oliver back. I thought D Alford played well, thought he did some good things as well. Didn't think he was, you know, lost out there on the football field at nickel corner. Obviously they'll get Isaiah Oliver back at some point and he'll maybe probably reassume that nickel corner spot. That's all fine, but I need some safeties that can do some different things in today's NFL. If you have really good safety play, look, I'm not comparing, but you get into the Legion of Boom days and this, that, and the other. You know, as good as Sherman was, look, Earl Thomas, Cam Chance, those guys were really the captains of that defense back there, right? And I'm not comparing or anything like that, but boy, if Hawkins and Grant, my new favorite dynamic duo for the Atlanta Falcons, and I was hoping and wanting to see these guys play a lot more last year. And I understand, look, this is where you have to trust the wisdom of Dean Pease, right? This is where you have to trust his player development and his understanding and not putting guys out there if they're not ready to play. You know, not just, you know, get them out there for for all that. But now I'd much rather have those guys out there than, again, sink or swim with a Fabian Moreau or Eric Harris. I'm glad that that script has completely flipped out there. And again. These guys may have their hands full on Sunday with the with the Rams, but you feel better about the progression of where a lot of these guys defensively are. If you can get Eba Katie to have a good rookie season, Michael Walker has taken a step forward, right? You know, you've got Hawkins, you've got Grant. If you can start to get some of these young guys to develop, right, then this defense has a shot. And if they can continue to control the line of scrimmage, get after the quarterback, get some lockdown on the outside coverage-wise. They may have a sneaky shot at being a really good defense this year. And I do think that one of the things that helps out is they've got the right guy at the helm. I think Dean Pease is the right for this group to have a 50-year coaching veteran, you know, and maybe a guy who's a little bit cantankerous. You know, I like Dean Pease, and I like when he gets in front of the media and does his thing. but. I think he's the right guy. Give me that savvy old veteran kind of coach, right? You know, in that mode of the Dick LeBeau's of the world, let me have that savvy veteran coach to coach up these young guys. And you saw for two guys that had a lot of trouble getting on the field last year for the Atlanta Falcons, those guys played all but one snap on Sunday. And if this defense is going to get us to the next level and get us where we got to go, those two guys are going to be two of the anchors that help get that done. All right, well, thank you so much for making Hitting Hard with John Chuck for your first listen every day. Make ATL Day 1's your second listen every day. Jarvis Davis and Ethan Batiste, my friends talking all things in the heart of the city of Atlanta. They're free and available on our YouTube page as well. Check them out there. Leave us a comment. Free and available, too. We can You can download us on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Hit us up, too. Amazon Fire, Roku. Check us out on those platforms as well and of course follow me at jmch316 programming note tomorrow we're going to do another hangouts me zeno jarvis tanitra the four of us are going to do a hangout show we did this a few weeks ago got a lot of great response on it so we're going to chop all things up as we got a busy weekend college foosball falcons a lot to discuss so we're going to have another atl hangouts coming up tomorrow check us out this has been hitting hard with john chuckery locked on sports atlanta